You know, under no, <coughs> under under normal circumstances, um, the priorities that you have on your plate, the ones that you you just talked about, are it's already a a, a difficult mission that you have under normal circumstances with a normal presidential administration. How much of a challenge has the Trump administration been in terms of trying to achieve or at least make headway on the goals that you have? But this administration has been profoundly complicated. Uh, there are no rules that this administration, uh, that they're, un, they're not unwilling to uh, uh, bridge. Uh, you considering elections, uh, because of the Holder Shelby decision, which undermines Section 5 of the Voting Rights Act, we have now seen a regional problem that's been in the South to spread nationally where attempts to suppress the Black vote or the vote has, has in places like Wisconsin, uh, Philadelphia, and Nevada. And so as we adjust our program to turn out the Black vote, we also must account for efforts to suppress the Black vote and that's inclusive of, of platforms like Facebook. That's why we built out a campaign called Stop Pay for Profit along with our partner organization. Uh, uh, this democracy has been stretched to the brink. It is the role of the NAACP and many others to push back as hard as possible so we can get back to a, a, a space where we are more familiar with and advance questions of equality. Have you had a, uh, any kind let me start again. Have you had a meeting with President Trump? No, uh, I refuse to give a photo op. It is our opportunity to talk about substantive policy opportunities, not to give this president a photo opportunity. I have yet to see him have a serious dialogue with any individual or group from the black community that truly represents the interests of the black community without it being turned into some type of photo opportunities and talking points. And, and so, I mean, one of the things that the president talks about is how much he's done for criminal justice reform and how much he's done as a result for the black community. You've had no kind of interaction or communications with the president or broadly speaking with anyone in the administration. So let's start with the first part of your question. It is offensive to say I've done a lot for the black community because I've done stuff with criminal justice reform as if that's a sum total of who we are and our experience as African Americans in this country. We need to talk about much more substantive, proactive, forward-looking opportunities. There were some outreaches by this administration uh, uh, concerning him speaking at our convention one year. I have sat down with Secretary Hood, uh, Ben Carson, but for the most part, they, they have not been serious with engaging uh, the African American communities around substantive opportunities to move this nation, to move our communities forward. So the other thing that the president talks about a lot, I believe it's opportunity zones and how much that is helping the black community. So ta I take it from what you've just said, you've not even had any conversations with him or anyone in the administration about, about your views or counsel on that. No, I mean, we, we've talked to members of the Senate, both uh, Republicans and Democrats about opportunity zones, but this is not, a, <coughs> excuse me, this is not an administration that truly value input from communities or individuals who look different than them. This is not administration that have shown themselves having any interest of doing something that's not in the personal interest of the president and his family. And, and so we are in a different type of conundrum here. We have an individual who's a uh, reality TV celebrity who is masquerading as a business person sitting in the White House. It is not a healthy existence for us. And organizationally, our time is better spent preparing for this upcoming election than anything else.